Welcome to World Anvil, the home of your new world. I'm Janet, and in this quick video series, you'll learn everything you need to know to get started on World Anvil. You can access this video and the rest of the series from the Get Started widget at the bottom of the page. In World Anvil, you can describe everything in your world setting. Write articles for your characters, places, items, organizations, spells, and so on. Create interactive maps to track locations. Build timelines to record your world's history. Create secrets, and more. Your World Anvil world also contains the stories and novels you write in your setting, and the RPG campaigns that you plan and play there. Your world setting might be as small as a city, or as big as the Marvel Cinematic Universe, with hundreds of solar systems, planes, and realities. Whatever the size, if it's one project or setting, it's one world on World Anvil. Let's start our journey by creating a building. Click the Create button. Select the building template, add a title, and your building article will automatically save. Then, just write about your new building. I'm creating a tavern called the Plough and Crow. You can write whatever you like here, but an introduction or summary is a good way to start an article. If in doubt, think who, what, where, why, or when. Now let's create a new article. Let's say an Assassin's Guild. Click Create Another. A guild is an organization, so we'll use the organization template. You can mouse over each template to learn what it's for. There's also a detailed guide here. It's important to choose the right template because each template contains relevant prompts for the topic that inspire you to better describe your subject and create a more interconnected world. Many templates also have extra tools that create a deeper and more connected world setting. For example, in the organization template, you can define diplomatic relations between different organizations. Then you can display them as a diplomacy web later. Other templates also have special features. To format your article's text, just highlight it. As well as basic formatting, options like bold and italic, this formatting menu enriches your text with colors, dice roll buttons, anchor links, and more. Mouse over the buttons to learn what they do. To add a new image to your article, just drag it onto the text field. For even more commands, type forward slash to bring up the slash menu. On World Anvil, you can add headers, tables, line breaks, quotations, spoilers, and more to your articles. You can also embed your World Anvil content, your maps, family trees, diplomacy webs, and everything else once you have it. You can browse through the slash menu, or if you know what you're looking for, just type your command. For example, slash line to filter the options. Click your option, fill in any details, and it'll appear in your article. Simple. Some command options have keyboard shortcuts shown on the menu. For example, three dashes creates a line break. A hash symbol creates a title header. If you know Markdown, these will already be familiar to you. And if you've already used an image somewhere else, type slash image, then the file name of your image to embed it. Once you've written a few articles, it's time to link them together. Use the at key and type the first three letters of your article's title. Then select the article you want to link. It's that easy. World Anvil also has an auto linker. This reads through your article's text and finds words that might be the titles of articles that you could link to. To start the autolinker, type slash autolinker and select the option from the slash menu. Articles of free users always start as published. That means everyone can see them. You can switch between published and draft mode by clicking the orange circle, then clicking the publish slider. Only you can see your draft articles. Your articles don't need to be long before you publish them and they can be written in bullet points, if that's how you think. 
the most important thing is to capture your ideas as you world build. Next to the draft published symbol, the padlock shows if your article is public or private. If your article is public, your readers or RPG players will be able to find it online. This is a great way to share information and grow the following of your setting. By default, only you can see your private content. That's true of articles, timelines, maps, and everything else on World Anvil. But you can give individuals access to content that's private from everyone else. We'll talk more about setting that up in a later video. Now let's talk about how you can find your articles. The quickest way is with the search. Type Control K or click the search icon at the top left. You can search by name or scroll through your recently opened content. As well as articles, you can search for maps, timelines, stat blocks, notes, and pretty much everything else you have in your world. Click the title to open your content in edit or mouse over for more options. For an overview of all your articles, click here to find the articles and categories interface. You can see all your articles and categories here on the left. Click on any of your articles or categories to see their content or edit them. Click the filter button to filter your article tree, or choose one of the predefined filters here. You can also search for a specific article here. Categories are like folders for your articles. Once you have several articles, you should organize them using categories. This will make it easier for you and your readers to navigate your world. You can see your categories here. To create a new category, write the title and click this button. You can drag your categories around to reorganize them or to nest them one beneath the other. To organize your articles, just drag them into the categories like this. An article can't be in two categories at once. Click on a category to see which articles are inside it. Once you've clicked on a category, you can edit and change its information here. And that's all you need to know to get started with articles and categories. Now it's time to go create some articles of your own. Click the green Create button to get started with that. Once you've done that, check out the Get Started wizard at the bottom of the page for next steps on using the UI, timelines, maps, and other important features. This series will make your first experience with World Anvil easier and more productive, so please do follow along. And if you need more help, there are a lot of places to get it. For our most guided help, use our Get Started World Building course. It's designed for beginner world builders and guides you through the first steps of World Anvil and through building your very first world in 10 short lessons. The Learn button at the top links to our full documentation. You can use the Writer's Workflow or Game Master's Workflow to walk you through the next steps of building your world setting. Once again, Welcome to World Anvil. Now, as we always say here, grab your hammer and go world build.